We're back this morning with the new normal and today we are talking about dreams, specifically why so many of us are having so many crazy dreams these days. In fairness, I've been among those folks, so <laughs> I briefly kept a video diary at least one night. Uh, I was at some event trying to get away from a bunch of people who were like crowding me, so I sort of ran to try to find a safe place and all I remember is I was chased by a giant buzz saw that was like 20 feet tall. So that was weird. When I told my wife work was asking me to record myself in the middle of the night with a video diary about my dream, she said, you can sleep in the other room. I don't blame her. That was a good call on Allison's part. Nice glasses, by the way. Let's bring in Deirdre Barrett. She's a Harvard dream researcher and the author of The Committee of Sleep. Deirdre, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Great Hi, to see nice you. Hi, nice to be here. Help my friend Peter out and so many people, myself included, across the country who right now are struggling to sleep, having these weird dreams. Why are we having them? Why are they so vivid? Well, um, any big life change tends to make our dreams more vivid. And uh, also, most Americans are sleep deprived most of the time. Mm. And we're catching up on sleep now. And when you lose the last bit of your sleep, you're losing proportionally more of your dream time. And likewise, when you catch up more of your catch up. Uh, and finally, we're uh, more of us are waking up naturally in which case we usually wake up out of a dream period, whereas if you set an alarm, it's got an 80% chance of catching some other stage of sleep where you're not even dreaming. But in the survey I'm doing, I'm seeing dreams very much like his. Um, because the virus is such an invisible threat, we're not mm. seeing dreams like after 9-11 where you saw the buildings come down or the planes. But because the virus is invisible, we plug in all kinds of other metaphors of scary things that represent the way we're feeling. So a buzzsaw is in that category. So what are the most frequent items that people are dreaming about? You talked about like swarms of insects. Yes. Yeah. Bugs are the most common, I think, because bug is a slang term for the for the virus. But People have tsunamis coming at them and hurricanes and tornadoes and fires breaking out and bad people shooting in the streets. Jeez. So the virus mm. gets represented a lot of ways. So Deirdre, help us out. Help help us out here. How do you have better dreams? How do you have a better night's sleep? For me, it's kind of about waking up a bunch of times in the middle of the night. Um, well, if, if it's mainly the anxiety dreams that seem to be the issue, then you can program yourself to dream about something else. Think of something you'd like to dream about and uh, maybe a loved one, um, a beautiful place you enjoy. Lots of people like flying dreams. So pick, pick out the dream you'd like to have and focus on that image very strongly as you're falling asleep. And it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it makes it much more likely that you'll both have the dream you're asking for and also not have the anxiety dreams. Yeah, this is tricky. I've been trying that. I got I to gotta keep willing myself onto a mm. beach in these dreams a little bit better here. How do we focus on having just better sleep overall, Deirdre? Yeah, if you're just having insomnia through these periods, there there's several um, techniques that help that. One is going to bed and waking up at the same time. Uh, another is avoiding screens at night. Looking at Sorry. bright light at exactly the time that it would naturally be dark is evolutionarily very bad to getting sleepy. Um, also, there's a myth that hot baths are good for sleep, but they relax your muscles, but where our body is actually trying to drop temperature as we get sleepy. So anything that warms it can yeah. aggravate insomnia. And then last, hmm. uh, don't work in the bed, just keep the bed a place where you relax and go to sleep. Deirdre Barrett, we really appreciate you having this conversation with us. I, for one, do having had those experiences. We hope you sleep well and thanks for being here. Good luck with that buzzsaw. <laughs> <laughs>